to First start. of all, it's the understanding that you're saved by grace. We, we, we believe okay. that as Muslims. Great. Not by works. Absolutely. I'm glad you're from that. The Prophet Muhammad said, and someone said, someone said to him, well, no, one, saying, no, yeah, yeah. no, let me tell you what Prophet Muhammad said in an authentic hadith, uh, in a Bukhari or Muslim, yeah. someone said, uh, Prophet Muhammad said, peace be upon him, no one will get into paradise uh, by their works. And someone said to him, not even you, Prophet Muhammad, not even me, unless God enfolds me in his grace and mercy. No one gets to paradise on their works. That's what Muslims believe, the gospel of grace. Okay. Now, now what about the bit about God dying and not dying? That's what they are saying. Because not only your works, you can, okay. you can give a mountain of charity. From my understanding, charity, yeah. Right? Yeah. That one gives Christ you, and every person, person that's, flesh. that's flesh. If you're near to something. Yeah. Right. So, if in the flesh, Christ didn't sin, right? and by the spirit, his spirit was never never infected with the seed of man, because it was through the spirit that he was received. Mary's also is not an eternal Okay. So I don't really care about Mary. In most Christians believe that Mary was also immaculately conceived and never I don't think that at all. But anyway, most Christians think that. No, I don't think, I don't really care about what most Christians think. Okay, I'm just telling you, most Christians think Mary also is Okay, okay, yeah. great. Um, anyways. Just a fact, so, just a fact. Christians, so Jesus, flesh, spirit, yeah. right? Just like me. Perfect. Then he goes on the cross. Okay, I'm going to die right now okay. in my flesh. My flesh is going to disappear or waste away or whatever. Right? Well, it's not because he knows he's going to be resurrected in three days. So. Right, right. But he <laughs> so dies. But he he's dies. not thinking his that at all. Ceases, he's right? thinking, well, in 72 hours, I'm going to be back to life again. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> he's not thinking I'm going to be de deteriorating at all. Great. So his life stops. In 72 hours. Great. Stopped. You're yeah. not letting me explain. <laughs> what are you What are you doing? Carry on. What are you... Um, I, is, okay. Uh, what I'm you doing, know, I'm going to just walk if you're going to just keep interrupting. Dude, like, okay. freaking heck. Okay. I, I I'm the only Christian standing here, this and I got ten Muslims ten. talking to me. All right, okay. Two, four, ten. You want to be pedantic? Ten. Oh no, there's actually carry on. Please, I apologize. Dude, I apologize. I'm not. Like, is this your first time in the biggest corner? No, it's okay. I apologize. You've got a nice crowd today. <laughs> You're a nice crowd. I know. I remember talking <laughs> to you. He's yeah, very yeah, brave yeah, for nice putting crowd. up with all of us. Exactly. Exactly. I grant him that. Please we give you credit for that. Please continue. We bring the guillotine. You have a break. The Thank floor you. is yours. Okay, so he's on the cross. He crosses. He crosses. <laughs> Okay, he's on the cross, no, 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 and this is what I understand. And it is all to do with the requirements of the law and the requirements of what happens according to a will. A will only comes into play when someone dies, right? A will comes into play when someone dies. And so, if it is the will, what is the requirements of the law, right? Which is like the will, okay? It only comes into play when what? Someone dies. Permanently, yes. Right. Okay. Permanently. So, do you now understand Permanently. why Christ died? No. In the flesh, not no, in the spirit. I, 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 can I ask that? I, 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 Nobody dies in the spirit. I, I don't understand why he not died. Not even, even so people. Why? Why, why does he die? Like, that everybody be important according to him. What is the will of Christ? To do the will of the Father? Yeah. And what is the will of the Father? That people should be saved. But how? Through repenting of their sin and turning to God. Right, and how are they able to ever to be justified by the law? By humbling themselves before God, they were justified before and God. And what is the wages of sin? sin? Sorry? What is the wages of sin? According to Jesus. According, yeah. He doesn't say anything about that. <laughs> the wages of sin is death. So that's not Jesus. That's, that's not Jesus. Jesus. So that's the requirements Paul of Paul the law that? is what? Sorry? The requirements of the law is what? That we should humble ourselves before God and seek His forgiveness and mercy from Him alone. No, but you're saying according to Jesus or according to Paul? Because there are two different statements. According to Jesus. Okay, go uh, on. Tell him the according to Jesus. The law is what? If you sin, That's too you merciful. die. <laughs> My understanding So the Jesus requirements of the law are made when, no, when Jesus, Jesus never, dies. Can I say something? Jesus never said that. That's what Paul said. Like, I'm not being pedantic here. <laughs> I'm just aware of the difference between the two. Right. So, but Paul said that. This Jesus is where I'm coming from, anyway. So, okay. I, feel, I respect that. That's not okay. where I'm coming from. Yeah. I just find right. it strange that you, you divide Jesus into spirit and flesh. It's fine. Let me. Get, I'm just explaining the whole stance of a Christian. Yeah. So you guys know where I'm coming from. But so if, I, if and you, I know where you guys are coming no, from. No, yeah, no. What I'm saying is when you, when you read John 1, it says very clearly the flesh becomes, sorry, God becomes flesh. So unless you're telling me that flesh was not God at all, right? And, 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 the, and the fact, if it was God, then... I'm not done explaining it. No. Okay, that's oh, fine. Just, oh. just, just a little bit. Like, you're going to explain this bit, done. then I'm just done. Then the, okay, yeah. And then he comes back. So you pay the requirements for the law, which is the wages of sin is death. So he paid for all the sin in the world. 
He paid for all of it so that we can be reconciled to God because you need to be born again. But the wages of sin is not an end. By faith, by faith, by faith. By faith. By faith. By faith. So, by faith, you are made righteous. By faith alone, not by works. By faith in what exactly? Faith in God and Jesus. By faith in God and Jesus. God is Jesus. Oh, I see. Right. That's another story. Even though you don't have, you don't see, have to believe it. It's one, okay. It's one, totally one thing, okay. One I don't thing mind. that should be understood, even though that that statement sounds very absolute and extreme, that the wages of sin are death. But even then, what should be understood? In the law, it's yeah, condemnation. But, but what should, be, Christ, it's, but what it's should be understood Christ. as being implicit in that statement is that the wages of sin are, are are death for the guilty party or for the guilty person, not for an innocent person. Just like me saying that you know the punishment is for drinking innocent? and driving. But one moment, if I said the punishment, well. According to you, Jesus is I gotta innocent. Go. According to you, really Jesus sorry. is innocent. I gotta go. So he's the last person that should have to die. Hold on, we listen to you. I think it's only fair you listen to I us know. now. I know, it's not fair. It's, it's, like me <laughs> saying, it's like me saying the punishment for drinking and driving is two years in, in jail without probation, two years in prison. Now, I didn't say that the punishment for drinking and driving is two years punishment in, in jail for the person who was drinking and driving, but this is implicit. It's understood that the guilty party is the one, if anyone's going to be punished, so they go to jail. That guilty who party. plays the bail? It's, it's that guilty party. One, I, I don't believe in bail. I don't think bail should be. I think it's God a bribe. God the bail. No, no, but bail, I don't agree and with. And you're free of the law. I, I think, I think bail is a man-made system of bribery, it's an official system of bribery. Either no, punish the person or forgive. God paid the bail so that you're free of the law. You're out of the jail. But is it possible for God? Why is just, do you believe that it's possible for God to forgive without getting a payment first? Do you believe it's even possible for God greater, to forgive without receiving mercy payment first? Mercy is greater than judgment. Exactly. It is love. Justice. It is love. Uh, it is just said that, that God, God, God's, God's mercy, mercy is, greater than, is greater than His wrath. So so Islam is a pure religion so of grace and mercy. mercy. But in so Christianity, is it not the case that God demands that a pound of flesh be paid, I'm that a debt it. be paid? That's not forgiveness. You can't be forgiven unless that, that is an accountancy is mentality. Is right. It's an accountancy. In Christianity. Counting beads. Can you be forgiven? Without spilling blood. Can you be forgiven? Where is the forgiveness in Christianity? According to the law, yes. But according to faith and grace, no. So you believe you it's could faith, wait, wait, you're actually going to say that according to the law, you can be forgiven without spilling blood? Or you cannot? Under the blood of Jesus, you're forgiven, right? Okay, no, the right. question Why? is... No, that's no, no, that's no, no, the question why? I'm asking. Can you be forgiven without spilling blood? Yeah, the question there's is a lot of different things blood. you're talking about here. No, there's only one thing. Can you be forgiven without spilling blood? No, I'll make it less I'll make it less cryptic. Yes, according to Leviticus chapter 5. I'll make it less <laughs> cryptic. Really you, 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 you can okay, offer so a grain of Is there any forgiveness did not forgiveness and no animal 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 can God forgive? spilling of blood. Exactly, yeah. There is. Can forgiveness be bestowed beyond the... Yeah, I would say, yeah, without forgiveness blood. can be bestowed without the shedding of blood. Okay, exactly. so you're saying without without Jesus dying, you could be forgiven, possibly? Yeah. yeah. You could. But, but and without killing no the animals in the in the okay. past, you could be forgiven. Yeah. So what is the whole point of Jesus dying then? And why did Paul say there's no remission of sins without blood? Exactly. You know, I want the answer to that question. What is the point there's of Jesus dying? Honestly. What do you think? Oh, no is there any yeah, let's get the atheist out now. An Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Oh, there you go. A different opinion to yours. But anyway, yeah. I, it's because you have your opinion, he has his. No, that's the biblical opinion. Yeah, <laughs> well, not according to him. Before, I said, well, you could still be forgiven without the shedding of blood because it's by faith. Obviously, there wasn't any shedding of blood. This is what we need a close up on. And the new covenant is faith in Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. But he shed the blood, yeah. So that would be... So is your answer going to be the same still? Or is it just shedding the blood? They're going to work it out. Just, just, go, just go and come with the answer. You know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the answer, biblical answer is... You know, it's funny. I'm open to be wrong. But it doesn't mean I'm wrong overall. That's it. Oh, no, no. We're not saying you're wrong you know overall. I mean? We wouldn't be standing and talking at that long otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good with you. Don't you hate it when someone in, in these groups, they go, you, they suddenly realize that they're wrong, but then they're so stubborn they don't admit that they're wrong? True, no, no, no. True. I give you credit for like that, that, honestly. I give you credit for that. We give you that. We give you that. Yeah. Humility Definitely. is commendable, no? Yes. But, um, yeah. Anyone honest enough? Um, Why not? Well, that's a good thing to think about, though. You know what I mean? The whole... Um, so you see, in, is, in Islam, we actually are able to seek forgiveness without shedding of blood of either an animal or an innocent man. Yeah, very clear.